so now your company's generating money and you've got excess funds and you want to bring them out, what's the best way to look and get that in place? So interest, this is where your company owes you money or your director's own account. You can actually charge interest on that. And the advantage of this is that it's tax deductible in the company. So it's, it comes off of your taxable profits and it can be received personally by you um, very tax efficiently. So if you're a, a basic rate taxpayer, there's a thousand pounds a year, which can be received tax free called your personal savings allowance. And indeed, if you're a basic great taxpayer for the rest of your income, you'll actually only pay 20% tax on the rest of your rest of that interest income up until you go into the next banding, simply because you don't pay any national insurance on interest income. One thing to note is that you must charge a commercial rate. So with this, the scope is quite wide ranging because if you're loaning money to your company on an unsecured basis with minimal payment terms, you could get away with charging anywhere between 5% up to 15%. And what we can actually do is engineer a rate to give you the most tax efficient amount of income. The second best way of taking money out is a salary. So if it's just you on, on the payroll of your limited company, we recommend taking out about nine and a half thousand pounds a year. If there are others on the payroll, it might be 12 and a half thousand pounds a year. This is due to something called the employment allowance being available. Taking any more than these amounts is generally not tax efficient because you pay income tax plus employee national insurance plus employers national insurance, which overall makes for quite an expensive tax rate. Lastly, we've got dividends. One thing to know is that a company must have profits. So it must have made money. It can't have made a loss. Um, you can't pay dividends out of a loss. If not, this would be risked, um, deemed an illegal dividend and it could be need to be repaid or treated as a salary. And, which would result in additional tax being due. And dividends are always paid after having paid corporation tax. So just because you've, you've made this profit of 100,000 pounds, that's not the amount of um, dividends you can take. Remember, you've got to deduct 19% of tax on that. Dividends are taxed as follows. So you get your first 2,000 pounds tax, tax free of dividends, no matter if you're a high rate, basic rate taxpayer. After this, it's 7.5% where they fall into your basic rate band. Then it's 32.5% for a higher rate, up to 38.1%. The most tax efficient mix of salary from your limited company is going to, um, drawings, is going to be a mix depending on your personal circumstances. It's usually tax efficient to take about £50,000 a year out. Anything more than this, and it does start to add up. On a £50,000 of earnings, the average tax rate is give or take 23% which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. Anything more than this, and it really does start to increase to 40% and more based on the more income you have and the more you take out. Because of this, it's quite effective to live modestly whilst building wealth in the company so that you can reinvest the proceeds um, and really accumulate serious wealth whilst paying the least amount of tax possible.